Let's go with y'all, man. Let's go with y'all. How everybody doing? How is everybody doing? How is everybody's trading week been? How has the month has been holding y'all? Because I ain't seen anything in the markets this week, and it's a no trading week for me. If I ain't took a trade on the NAS, wifey, just know that I ain't took a trade for the week. So it's your boy Hallo once again. I'm back again with another video. On today's video, I wanna share or I wanna I wanna yeah, I wanna share how or why you should plan your trades and trade your plans or why you should be patient in your trading setups or why you should wait for your trading setups to occur before you can continue or you can execute any trades in the markets so this is a psychology video everything i say or do it's based off of everything that i experienced mostly this week what i experienced this week so I want to share to y'all so y'all might not be acting up or new or might not be shook when everything occurs. As you can see on the screen, I did type the good side and the bad side, the pros and the cons of planning your trades and trading your plans and being patient in your trading setups or waiting patiently for your trading setups to occur. So the first one, I will start off with the negatives, the pro, the cons, the bad side, like ugly things in life, those ugly things that everybody don't want to experience in life. So the first one will be, you might worry about you not making any money. You might worry about making no money. So obviously in trading, we're all here to make money, but it's not about you having to trade to make money, you understand? So you find that the whole week, you didn't find any trading set up, you showed up the whole week, Monday to Friday, but you couldn't execute any trade because there were no trading setups. So that tends to make you feel like, oh my God, I didn't make any money. I didn't have a withdrawal or there's no change in my trading account or my bank or my trading balance, you understand? So you worrying about not making any money doesn't have to eager you, you understand? Well, it has to, it might because like, like me on my side, I rely on trading. Trading is my only source of income. If I don't show up, I don't eat. If I don't show up, I don't got a bread. If I don't show up, I, I ain't making the guap. So it's most prior for me that I need to show up every day or most on, on my on important trading days, which I know that on Mondays I trade, on Tuesdays I trade, Wednesdays I avoid trading. I don't like trading on Wednesdays, Thursday and Friday, you understand? So you don't have to worry about you making money, about you not making no money. So my advice to you, if you worry about not making any money because you couldn't find any trading setups, I would say you don't have to worry about making no money or find something to do just to avoid you having to think of you not making any money in trading. You understand? So the second con, the second con or the second bad side will be. You see others making it, but you staying stagnant. You see others making it on Instagram, on YouTube, on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Twitter, TikTok, in real life, but you still stagnant because you didn't find any trading setups. So this is most important. The second, the second, the second card that's most important, you understand, because this helps you understand, like, this helps you understand the power of focusing on your own journey, of being in your own lane, of understanding that if they make 20K and I make 2K, that's me, that's my journey, that's where I am, that's where I have to be until there's change in my life or until I find change in myself. So you don't have to see what other traders, what other traders are doing on Instagram. So I would say, Avoid what's happening on Instagram. Avoid what's happening on YouTube. Um, don't okay. Don't follow forex traders on YouTube or on Instagram or anywhere if they don't resonate with your well-being or with your lifestyle. Like on my side, I only follow two forex traders. Two forex traders. Two. One being Mr. Rox FX. I look up to him since since twenty nineteen. 
yeah, since 2019, I've been looking up to him, looking at his YouTube videos and everything. The second one will be Doyle Exchange. I also look up to Doyle Exchange because of how he lives his life. You understand? It res it resonates with my with my habits and my productivity. You understand? So what they do inside of trading, I don't care about what they do. If they made 50k, 80k, whatever amount that they did. I will only worry about my own things, my own being, where I am, where I'm going and where I come from. So my advice is stop looking at what other traders are doing and focus on yourself. You understand? Avoid Forex traders on YouTube, on Instagram and everywhere and just focus on your own being. The third one is you worry about your family seeing you statement. You understand? Okay, I'm back. Forgive me about that one. So the third con or the third negative or bad side is you worry about your family seeing your statement. Obviously, you worry about your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, everyone in your family because they see your statement. They don't see you doing anything. You don't find any trading setups in the markets. You just close the charts and you continue doing what you do day by day. That tends to that tends to destroy people that love you, like your family, your girlfriend, your, like anyone in your family or anyone in your life. They're gonna be like, bro, but you're not doing anything, but you're saying you're trading, you're not the laptops is closed, it's off, the monitors are off, what's happening, what's going on. So that tends to destroy you as a trader. Like you worry about your family seeing your statement. So what I, my advice to you is that you need to find something to do, like me. If there's no trading set up in the markets, I continue doing what I do day by day. It's about exercise, work out, go to my designer friend, my friend who designs, you understand? Because I also model if I don't trade or I write, I read, I do anything. I just find hobbies, you understand? I, I find myself being busy just to avoid the fact that there's no trading set up in the market. I also don't need to do anything, you understand? So you need to be busy, you understand? Besides trading, I know if trading is the only hobby, your only obsession, everything that you rely on, then stick to it. I won't blame you for it, but you need to find hobbies and things to do apart from being a trader alone. You also need you also need to avoid looking at every trader, forex trader on Instagram. You understand and focus on your own lane. Look at your own things, what you need, what you want, what you deserve, what you mean to have, and what you need to change your fix. You understand. And the other one, it will be like. You need to stop worrying about you not making money. Money, obviously, oh, we all here for money eventually, you understand? But money is not the is not the sole prior tool that you need in life. You understand? You need yourself in life, you need happiness, you need greatness, you need positivity, productivity, you need confidence, you need like like you understand spirituality, you need important things in life more than money, but money does help solve a few problems day in day, understand. So those are the three bad sides or negative sides or cons of being a trader. Understand one, you might worry about you not making money. Two, you see others making it, but you're still stagnant. Three, you worry about everyone, you worry about everyone around you, like your family, seeing you stagnant. You understand? So those are the three cons what I experienced mostly so prior to this week. You understand? The second one will be the good side. Obviously, we all want to live a lavish life. We all need positivity. We all need to shine like gold. We all need to glitter. You understand? So those will be the good sides. Understand? 
the cons, the pros, you understand? The pros, the pros, the pros, the positivities. So number one will be, it helps you understand your skill or your strategy. As a beginner trader or as an upcoming or as an intermediate trader, we all know that you need a trading plan. One, you need to plan your trades. Two, you need a skill or a strategy that you can rely on in the trading industry. So like, for instance, if you're waiting for the NAS to be, maybe if you're looking for a continuation to the downside for the coming week on your outlook, obviously maybe price broke support, some sort of support. You're simply waiting for price to come back and retest that very same zone, give you some sort of, okay, when price give, okay, you're waiting for price to retest and give you a new resistance before price can continue moving to the downside. And you patiently wait on it, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the setup shows up, you take the setup and price moves nicely into profit, you understand? That helps you understand your trading plan, one, your skill, your strategy, and helps you understand yourself as a person and as a trader to what you need to do and what you need to avoid doing as a trader. Number two, you learn being patient and the power of waiting. In trading, we all know that patience pays, you understand? Or patience is what we need to overcome some obstacles or to overcome some hurdles. You understand? So, like I said, you you were patiently waiting for the NAS to be bullish, to be bearish for the week. Once price retests the support and gives you a new resistance and moves in that direction, so you were patient on Monday until Wednesday or Thursday for the setup to show up before you took the trade. So it helps you learn patience and mostly the power of waiting to say, if maybe like on my side, I waited the whole week for the NAS to give me a setup, which it didn't give me. So I didn't take any trades on Wi-Fi, you understand? So that taught me the power of patience and the power of waiting, <coughs> sorry. So in that instance, I didn't take any trade this week, you understand? So I'm learning the power of being what? <coughs> the power of being patient and the power of waiting for what, for setups to show up, unlike doing anything or doing things that I will regret in future for why I had to encounter, you understand? Number three is you avoid doing BS or avoid blowing your account. I don't need to say what's BS. We all know what's BS. So you avoid doing BS by simply being patient, by being disciplined, by being committed, you understand? So like I said, you were waiting for what? For the NAS to retest the support and give you the new resistance before you can continue moving in your direction. And you see that like you waited Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So on Wednesday before Thursday. So when Wednesday comes, you see, oh my God, price is not reaching that certain zone. Why would I not be patient? You do what? You end up doing like dumb things, you understand, by entering the markets too early and price takes you out. And you now do what? You blow your account. You now have that emotional pain. You're not having self-doubt. You're not having fear. You're not having lack of confidence. You're now not being committed anymore because you did something that you weren't supposed to do. Unlike you having to be patient enough and having the power of waiting before your trading setup can occur. So you avoid doing BS or avoid blowing your account by being patient, by not by avoiding doing anything, by not taking trades anywhere, and by being and by planning your trades and trading your plans and following your trading plan as a trader. So those are the three cons, those are the three pros or the good sides of the positives of being patient or waiting for your trading setups to occur. One, it helps you it helps you understand your skill or your strategy or your trading plan. Two, you learn patience and the power of waiting. Three, you avoid doing BS or avoid blowing your account. So those are the, those are the six aspects which I wanted to share with y'all because I felt like I did experience them this week. I didn't find any trading setup. I couldn't take any trades. So this is what I came through. This is what I experienced this week. So. If you're watching this video and you see that like, oh my God, this did happen, this did happen, don't act new, don't do anything, but try and take some, some things to what I shared or to what I did experience and build something off of it and just find your own twist for me. So it's your boy, Hello once again. Forgive me for having to be in this step while I was uploading. 
I don't edit videos. I, I don't edit videos. I don't do anything like that. What happens, happens. I keep it raw. I keep it authentic. I keep it authentic and I keep it legitimate. It's your boy once again, Hello. If you were in love trading with Hello, who the mm, is you doing it with? That's all I got on this video, man. I'm out.